Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman with a follow-up video on the GCW Zero. I had a lot of people writing in after my initial review to say that there was a lot more to the console and I was missing a whole bunch of stuff and it turns out they are absolutely right and I was missing a lot of stuff. So I'm just going to put you uh, over to the GCW website real quick here and you can see uh, when you go down to the download screen there isn't too much available. There's a bunch of, you know, a few emulators and a few other uh, freeware projects available for the handheld. But uh, if you go over to the forums over here and you go into this uh, Ding un Unity, <laughs> I think that's how you pronounce it, uh, you'll go over to a section called Releases. And uh, this is where the community is doing a lot of work on the console. So you can see uh, that there's quite a bit. Uh, Final Burn Alpha, which is an arcade emulator. MAME for All is on here. Uh, a whole bunch of great software that you can download uh, to run some classic games on your handheld. So I uh, downloaded a few of them. We're going to check out a few of those right now. Uh, Final Burn Alpha is here on the screen right now. And we're going to just pop open uh, Afterburner 2. And it runs OK. It's not as fast as you'd like it to be. It's certainly not as fast as it might be on my computer. Uh, but you do get all the sound effects and everything. And it does look really nice on the screen. Uh, we'll just let this boot up here. You can just see the speed it runs at. Uh, not the fastest in the world. Um, I think it's more of a software optimization thing than it might be uh, a uh, hardware limitation because I think the hardware is a little bit beefier than uh, this might indicate. But it's still playable, so that's a pretty pretty cool thing. And I think there's a way to get out of it. There we go. We'll just uh, hit both buttons there and back out. Another thing you can run on Final Burn Alpha is Street Fighter 2, which a lot of you I know like. And this one actually runs a lot better. It runs pretty close to how I remember it running in the arcade. So uh, that is certainly more than adequate. And I was very happy to see how that ran. Uh, there's also, by the way, on the uh, message board screen there, uh, there's updates to Pico Drive, which is uh, the Genesis emulator. So there's some uh, newer things available there. So we'll just pop into a, a quick game here to see so you can see how this runs. And I'm playing this sideways, so my, uh, my playing is going to be horrible, but you can at least get a sense of the frame rate. Um, so it's pretty good. You can go in, there's you know, uh, commands to configure the controls and everything. So I think it's pretty, uh, it's pretty far along, and I was uh, very happy to see how, uh, how well this ran there. So there's a bunch of other emulators available uh, for this as well. I'm just thinking, I forgot to figure out how to get out of these things. They all like leave, <laughs> exit the emulators in different ways. So you just have to remember what the uh, key presses were. This one, I think you hit all four buttons here, the select, the start, and the two. Uh, bumper buttons and you can uh, get out there but you can also save your state as well um, so you have uh, some options there too so I think um, uh, I downloaded Stella I'm having a little bit of problems with Stella which is the Atari emulator but I know a lot of you are probably looking for MAME and MAME is here it runs um, this runs uh, this is MAME for all and it runs on a uh, older version of the ROM set so you might have some issues running uh, games because you may get error messages and that sort of thing, mainly because this is running uh, a different version of the ROM set that it's expecting. So you might have to poke around a little bit for that. But uh, we'll just load up Qbert here real quick, one of my favorites uh, when I was a kid. I used to go to the bowling alley and play this game all the time. It was pretty cool. It had a, uh, a little uh, thumper in the machine so that when the little guy fell off, uh, he would hear a little thump in the bottom of the machine. It was pretty cool. So. Um, so there's, it's not perfect, but it's certainly great, and I, at least great enough to, to be able to run this on a handheld. So um, I'm really not complaining at all. Um, all the sound effects are in there. It really works uh, quite nicely. Now, one of the things that they don't tell you to do right off the bat is how to get out of the game. So you have to hit both buttons and start, and that'll bring you back to the, uh, the screen here, and you can get to another one. So Zaxxon was another one I was playing quite a bit this weekend as well. So a lot of the 80s games will run great on it. I did try, like, NBA Jam and a few newer ones. Uh, those didn't run as smoothly. Um, the author of this is kind of doing this in his spare time, and he's got um, a lot of projects on his plate. Uh, but, you know, it's certainly usable, and, uh, and this is running excellently. So, um, you know, I think it's uh, for, you know, really retro kind of games, it's going to work uh, fantastic there for you. So, uh, really, you know, I'm, I'm becoming more and more interested and more and more impressed with this little handheld to the fact that I was playing with it on and off all weekend, and that says a lot. So, I think uh, it's certainly worth considering. You can buy this over at thinkgeek.com. I think it's about $150 right now. Uh, really cool handheld, especially if you like retro games and you want to have a way to kind of play all your old favorites uh, in a handheld device. And uh, you really can't do much better than this. The screen is great for it. As I saw it said in my other review, you can watch that. Uh, the controller is really good. So I'm, I'm quite happy with it. And I think uh, we'll uh, revisit this again once uh, some more uh, software comes out for it. But there is quite a bit in that releases section. So uh, check that out. This is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. Thank you.